As California considers a ban on fur, opponents packed a state hearing this week saying the measure could hurt small businesses. But as Susie Steinle reports, these people may have been motivated by dollar signs. Cassie King rescued her bunny Mabel from a fur farm last year. They'll use bunny fur to just line gloves or really such trivial things that animals should not be dying for. She's a passionate activist who has been in Sacramento regularly to support AB 44, a bill that would make California the first state in the nation to ban the sale of fur. It's something San Francisco and LA have already done. Recently, Cassie noticed the opposition to this bill was growing at public meetings. We were all scratching our heads looking around who are these people who suddenly showed up to oppose the bill when the opposition has been virtually non-existent. So her activist group Direct Action Everywhere looked into it and claims most of the people supporting the sale of fur had been paid to be there. They found Facebook posts from two of them asking if anyone in LA was down to make an easy $100. Others offered another chance to make easy money fighting tyranny. This contract offers fake protesters $175 per performance and includes a non disclosure agreement. Paid protesting is a growing industry. Companies like Crowds on Demand bring paid actors to rallies to inflate the amount of support for events like union disputes or political protests. For Cassie, as an actual activist, it's concerning and has her questioning certain crowds. It's terrifying what money can buy. It can buy people's voices. It can buy people's concerns. We need these real grassroots supporters to show up, to get active, and to speak out. Uh, man, period, point blank, just like all my real ones trying to do, trying to get some money. Explanation, that's it. I'm trying to get some love, that's it. Just out here for the money? Yeah, pretty much. Anything to do with the protests, what happened in Minnesota? I mean, a little bit to do with that too, you feel me, but not really. I'm out here for the dub. Was it worth it? Obviously not. I'm out here hemmed up. Yeah, y'all see it. Man, if y'all gonna get some money, do it right. Don't do it the dumb way. Do it the smart way. Yeah. Thanks for your time, man. Best of luck to you. What's up, world? It's your main man, Chaziel Sons. And I haven't really been hitting nobody in the head. I've been doing a whole lot of growth. A whole lot of growing in the last about year and a half, two years. And I want to make this video because, you know, I haven't really, I've been concentrating on just family and, and, fr and close friends and whatnot and just kind of leaving the movement to the professionals. And it was just like, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a, uh, basically say it like this. Around the time, I say, mm, probably the end of 2015, somewhere in there, probably going into 2016, I started to notice, um, I began to notice infiltrators coming into the movement which is already it was it's been like this for a long time but i actually started to see them all online making fake pages and basically these fake people part of uh the black movement or whatever you want to call it uh were basically you know feeding off our emotions trying to trying to get us involved in things that we're not involved in trying to get us to believe in things that we weren't familiar with and basically pushing us for to be more left and democratic and one thing i want to say right now is if you are a revolutionary or anything like that you don't even believe you're not even supposed to believe in politics so for the people who still are believing that this movement this black movement even some of these white movements are legit man you have a lot of growing to do i'm gonna say it again you have a lot of growing to do and i'm gonna concentrate right now anyway on the black leaders okay the black leaders a lot of the black leaders and i want i want to i want to hit with this video 
the lot of the black leaders are straight leading us to our demise okay they have us working doing their dirty work for us their dirty work i mean the far left's dirty work they got us working basically for them because how they're getting us is they're playing us emotionally and they're basically saying how racist and how messed up guys are the far right and the neo-nazis are because they need all the help that they can get so they're getting the gays they're getting people of other cultures the people of the far left i'm talking about the far left i'm getting somewhere with this they're getting gays they're getting uh black people anybody who doesn't like donald trump they're basically trying to get you to fight for a war that is being started on american turf very very soon and they want us to be a part of their side what i'm trying to get the black population to understand and understand and this is critical is the movement has been compromised okay I, I, everybody needs to know that the rbg movement has been compromised blm if you are not caught up to blm it is not even a real black organization it never was i actually feel bad that i've been keeping a lot of this information cooped up for so long but i just felt like you know it wasn't getting anywhere but now things are about to go ahead and hit the fan. Anyways. If you have any kind of brain. You know BLM is endorsed. By the Soros. In the uh, Clinton family. If you have any kind of a brain. You know that those same people. Don't give a damn about you. Don't give a damn about black people. Don't give a damn. They're exploiting the black plight. To make money off of you. They're using your emotions and based off what has happened to you, they're using that against you so you can join these evil demonic people to help, the, help fight the people on the far right. They want, or not even the far right. I want to make this simple. The left is going against the right. It's a huge civil war that's being planned out. I want to make this simple. It's happening right now. And what they want is for everybody to choose a side consciously or subconsciously. Now, a lot of these white boys and a lot of these white people, they've already chosen their side. Okay. And what I'm saying to these people is, my people, is you're setting yourself to get setting yourself up to get slaughtered. Okay, become armed. Okay, become aware. Know what's going on within the system, because right now there is hidden powers who are controlling the narrative, and they're brainwashing you to feel a certain way about the system about white people about every race and about yourselves do not let these beasts do not let these evil people do this and i'm not talking about any particular right man you got black people man like i said the movement has been compromised the move there is no black rbg movement if you were claiming blm you a real sad motherfucker for the simple fact that BLM has always and, and from the very beginning was being promoted and being paid for by Soros and Clinton. If you think that these people who don't who've never given a damn about you, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they care about the black man's plight. All of us, man, y'all pay attention. Y'all really got to pay attention. 
I'm getting somewhere with this, I promise. All of a sudden, these white people on the left, and they've been doing this, but all of a sudden, they, you know, are supporting the black plight. This is all so this is all to get as many numbers as they can on their side to fight this civil war that they're planning out that they're already being prepared for you're going to have to choose a side don't set yourself up to get slaughtered this is all a big setup it's huge propaganda the biggest propaganda that could be happening right now. And what I want people to understand and overstand and understand is that the, we got to put the race thing to the side right now. We have to put it to the side because we have to understand what's going on and what's important. And the reason why it's so important on black people, because I know black people are like, okay, the left versus the right, what does that have to do with us? Because the people on the left are trying to use us. The people on the left are using us the Democratic Party are using black people to fight their war with Antifa with uh, it's getting very very deep if you don't know who Antifa is look Antifa up uh, uh, basically a terrorist group I don't know what people belief system is you can call them what you want to call them but they're they're basically like a, 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 a militant group and they're anti-fascist that's what antifa stands for it stands for anti-fascist and with that being said this group is being paid for by you guessed it the younger Rothschilds the Clintons and the Soros and the media is downplaying this uh, uh, this group they're not telling people about this group but people on the far left are trying to get black people and as many people who are part of the far left to join this side and what they want to do is they want to take the guns away from the people on the far right their whole plan is to even a playing field because the people on the far right they deal with guns they have all the guns and right now as it stands the people on the left are set to get slaughtered that's why they're pushing gun laws they're pushing gun laws for the simple fact that if you're able to take some of these guns away because Trump is in, in implementing more gun laws I don't care what people feel about Trump this isn't I'm not reacting going feelings right now I don't want people to come and be talking about how they feel about people you think I'm a big Trump fan no I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just giving the information as I get it. This is happening, yo. This is happening right now. November 4th is the day that Antifa has began and has pledged that this war is going to begin. November 4th, 2017. And I want everybody to know that it's already here with this whole Las Vegas thing. Okay with them attacking that country movie uh that country uh in las vegas that country music show or whatever in las vegas it was pretty much all white people that was a direct hit that was a direct hit from the left party i don't know if you can say antifa did it but it was a direct hit from the left going against the right what I want black people my people to understand is don't get involved in something that has nothing to do with y'all and take this information don't let the blacks and Hispanics to run with this information take this information run with this information this information is out there if you don't take my word for it do your own damn research because I might it may be some things that I'm not wording right it may be some things that I'm not saying right I'm trying to get people to understand my people in particular to understand and everybody to understand that our little minor differences right now because trust me I'm pro-black you know what I'm saying that's what I'm representing it don't matter right now though it don't matter right now though it don't matter I don't you 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 don't fuck with black people and you white hey man that's your prerogative 
that's not what the conversation is right now that's not what what's going on right now is so much bigger so much bigger than the race issue and if people ask me Chaz Chaziel so which side are you go choose which side are you going with if you got to choose the smart side I'm damn sure not to go about to go over there with Hillary and the Soros come on you got to use your brain as much as we you have to be strategic in your movements as much as you feel however you feel about the right they are straightforward the people on the left are lying to you and trying to get you to do that dirty work and get slaughtered we represent 12 percent of the population okay you can be whatever you want to be i ain't trying to dictate what you want to do but just be strategic in how you move man you black people are still running around talking about hands up don't shoot talking about uh take a knee kneeling at the uh the football game you got celebrities being endorsed by these because they know the best way to get negroes is through entertainment we're in, in we're entertained but these white people on the far right they they ready you know and i ain't trying to juice nobody up I'm trying to gas nobody up, man. I ain't got time for it. I'm just giving you the information as I'm presenting it. I ain't got time to try to gas them up and try to make it sound like it's this and this that. Look, man, all I'm saying is, hey, they, they got their guns. They ready to go. They ready to go. While we're sitting up trying to be cute, drinking white tears and shit, this is serious, yo. This is 100% serious now. And they're going to use you, nigga. And emotionally, they're going to get you attached to their little movement. Antifa and all this bullshit. To get your head blown off. Strategically learn how to move. Running around with RBG shirts talking about fuck America. What, what, what part of strategy is that? But this has already been 15 minutes, man. It is so much more. That's not even. That's not. That's not even the tip of the iceberg. The video almost already 15 minutes long. Do your own research, and white people, you do it because I ain't trying to make this about race. They coming after you, white, black, Mexican. They are coming after us. I just want to put that out there, let y'all know for a minute, hey man, this is what's going on. Go on and arm yourselves. Your main man, Chaziel Sons. God bless. Holla at you. Why, why do you wear masks? Why do you cover your faces? Primarily it's for our own safety. The far right and... Once again, guys, we are being lied to by the mainstream media. They are giving us a false narrative. They want us to believe what they are showing us, which is not true. So in politics, nothing happens by accidents. And if it happened, you can bet it was planned that way. And everything was planned. This whole killing with George Floyd, this whole outrage, the protests, the riots, the burning, the destroying. They are peaceful protesters who came in and who really wanted just to protest but um there be there's also a lot of protesters who got who gets paid what's happening it's demoralization of our old traditions then they're going to destabilize us and that's right now there will be a big crisis and then it will be back to normalization. That's the agenda just to divide America. And this is the big agenda. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give me a like and subscribe. Hillary Clinton is reportedly funding the far left extremist group uh, Antifa through her dark money pack. One America's Christian Rose has a story.
Recent reports reveal money ties between Hillary Clinton and the radical left extremist group Antifa, who are undermining the foundations of US governance with violence and intimidation, attempting to suppress free speech across the country. Last week, Berkeley police arrested an Antifa member who had met with Hillary Clinton ahead of the violent rally at UC Berkeley. The radical left demonstrators sought to prevent or disrupt the speech of conservative commentator Ben Shapiro on campus. Amongst other left-wing extremists, the police arrested 44-year-old Sara Rourke of San Francisco for the possession of a deadly weapon. Rourke had expressed her intent to protest Shapiro's speech on Facebook hours before her arrest. The incident occurred after her meeting with Hillary Clinton, who is reportedly using her dark money pack onward together for the purposes of funding radical left groups to spread discord within the American society. Democrats, I've got a new organization called Onward Together. I'm supporting young grassroots groups that have sprung up to recruit candidates, train them, run them, fund them. Ahead of the event at Berkeley, Ben Shapiro noted that free speech isn't free, as authorities had estimated security costs at roughly $600,000 due to the anticipated left-wing violence. However, Hillary Clinton topped these costs by funneling up to $800,000 to far-left extremist groups through Onward Together. Clinton's PAC is asking for donations, including monthly subscription payments, but it does not disclose the identity of its donors, citing the law that does not require such disclosures from social welfare organizations, which Onward Together officially is. So the question now becomes, is Hillary Clinton the leader of Antifa, right? We all thought it was George Soros in the past, but now has Hillary Clinton risen to take upon that mantle, to take on that role, because she couldn't win the, the presidency? In actuality, the means of social welfare perpetrated by funding from Onward Together really went towards things like bricks, hammers, bats and chains used by Antifa to intimidate the political opponents of the radical left cause. Lack of transparency makes Onward Together essentially a dark money pack and the revealed ties between Hillary Clinton and Antifa leave little doubt of where the money goes. Far-left extremist groups such as Antifa thus serve as a tool for the suit and tie radicals like Hillary Clinton and her affiliates, who seek to use political terror to expand their influence. Ultimately, Onward Together promotes the ideologies and narratives aimed at dismantling core American values.